Have you hit a bump in the road in Animal Crossing? Terraforming's got you down? Is designing your island stressing you out? And let's not even talk about the villagers leaving and coming into your island like it's Disney World. It looks to me that you need some brand new Animal Crossing tips and tricks in your life to spice and up your island getaway. Don't worry, Nikachu has got you covered. In today's video, I'm going to give you 8 tips and tricks that will give you the inspiration you need to pick Animal Crossing back up and try something new. And number 1, feel like spicing up your villagers front yards? This is a tip I'm working on myself right now, all thanks to the Cheers Kitty on Reddit. Kitty has made a wide selection of beautiful portraits of any villager you have on your island. I did this with Zucker and it adds so much personality to his porch area. Please excuse the extreme amount of litter on my island though. For full details on how to get all these images, whether you want to put their face on the ground, create portraits, or whatever else you want to do with their faces, that's up to you. There's a link in the description for full details. When your villagers take little breaks and sit down near water, doesn't it make your heart melt? Well, with number two, your dreams of sitting next to your villagers will be a reality. Now you can with a zen cushion. Now this is coming from Toyagatone on Reddit, where he has this super cute clip of showing this exact thing off with Sherb. Now your villagers can have someone hang out with while they're sitting and eating a sandwich by the lake. And look how happy Sherb is too. You know he's enjoying a little buddy sitting with him. And number three, are you annoyed with constantly decorating your island? Is it getting a little frustrating? I know it does with me sometimes. Sometimes it's just the one little thing happens to me and I feel like a graham cracker. Just a crumb of a graham cracker just, you know, breaking off into the distance. Okay, that's a little dramatic, but if you want to free up some storage, well, this is the perfect way to do it. Have you ever thought of just simply carrying a trash bin with you constantly when your storage is full of flowers or weeds? Well, you don't have to just carry it around all day. You can just bring a bin. It's like a portable dumpster. You just put it in the bin and keep going. Completely clear your inventory of anything you don't need, and you're completely set to go. This is a tip from Resident Tripuyumi on Twitter. Are you going to carry around a trash bin with you 24-7 now? Might be the new thing. If you're like me, every day you live life like you're in a movie. Sometimes that movie has to be the Titanic. Not every day is a great day, but a lot of times it's the Lion King, baby, and I feel like a king. Well, the key to living your life like a movie is the soundtrack you tap your shoes to, and you can make every step of your movie soundtrack sound perfect to the Animal Crossing song you want. By this, I mean you can put music behind buildings so when you walk across them or towards them, music will play that fits the theme of the store. This is a super fun idea, again by Resident Kuyumi on Twitter. It's very genius. You can easily have music that fits the theme of that building. Genius. 6C9BS found a cute little trick you can do in Animal Crossing. If you put an iron lamp behind a skeleton, it looks like his eyes have a nice little glow to him. He looks like a living skeleton. Isn't that fun? And number six, Pando UK has found this fun concept of KK Slider. Now, want to do something a little bit different on your island? Need some new design ideas for the great outdoors? Well, bring the fun concerts of real life Animal Crossing or the KK Slider merchandise booth you can make right in front of the stage. You can customize this any way you'd like. It's a pretty good idea. I think I might do this as well. Now here's a little random fact. Tom Nook Edition. Did you know that the reason all of the items in Animal Crossing look like leaves is because in mythology, a tanuki can use a leaf with magical powers of metamorphosis? And as you know, Tom Nook is based on a tanuki, and with this leaf, you can turn it into anything that the tanuki desires. This is coming from Wild Hard on Reddit who reported this, and this is such a cute thing, I, I never knew that. Number 7, did you know that native fruits sell way less on your island than foreign fruits? That's right, they got foreign fever. If you're planting massive amounts of fruit trees for money, focus on the foreign fruit because they because they sell for way more on your island than they will on an island with that fruit naturally. 
For example, I have peaches natively on my island, so I should focus on selling any other fruit like cherries or apples on my island to get bonus money. And a bonus tip or idea for you is you should go to your friend's island and sell all your native fruits. So I should take my peaches and go to Dave's island and sell them so I can get a little bit of a bonus myself. Now the final tip we have for you today, by we I mean me, I'm a one person show here, okay let's not get it twisted. Okay, some people don't know that there's two DIY bottles on the beach. Well, get used to it. I mean, I swear, I, day, I didn't know this till I researched this video, but if you pick up the first one, you know, in the morning or early afternoon, well, you're gonna have another one that will appear at night. Isn't that great? So if you do one in the morning, you'll have another DIY bottle at night. I didn't know this. I thought there was only one. So isn't that great? I'll be using that one. Which of these tips will you be using in your Animal Crossing day-to-day -day life? Comment down below, and if you have any other tips, comment down below, and you can share your ideas with other Animal Crossing fans in the comment section, and you can get some more tips from them too, so go read the comments. If you want to win 2 million free bells in Animal Crossing, all you gotta do is subscribe, ring the bell, and comment down below. I'm giving away another, because I've already given away 2 million bells, but I'm giving away another set of 2 million bells later this week, so keep on commenting. It'll up your chances when I do pick a winner. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.